My name's Amy. Welcome back to the little gym at home. Today, we're looking at our little one's foot development. Over the first five years of your little one's life, they're going to develop nice, strong arches. So today, we're going to do lots of activities to help with that development. Okay, let's settle down with your baby. Pop them on your lap. We're going to sing the hello song. If you know the words, join in. Otherwise, just clap along. You could clap your baby's hands together, or as we're thinking about our feet today, you could even clap their feet together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, we come to gym for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, we come to gym for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? OK, it's time to find out your names. We're going to do a nice little song all together. You can put your baby on your lap and we're going to manipulate their feet for this. For this one, I'm just going to demonstrate. OK. Oh, flex your toes and point your toes. Feet apart, feet together and wrap them in a bow. Can you make a neat feet sandwich? Call me on your neat feet phone. Hello. And put them back together in your neat feet feet home. Oh, flex your toes and point your toes, feet apart, feet together and wrap them in a bow. I love my neat feet, left and right, both the same. Now put them together and tell me your name. What's your name? Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Shall we sing it one more time? Are you ready? Oh, flex your toes and point your toes, feet apart, feet together and wrap them in a bow. Can you make a neat feet sandwich? Call me on your neat feet phone. Oh yeah, I'll be over in a minute. And put them back together in your neat feet home. Oh, flex your phone and point your toes, feet apart, feet together and wrap them in a bow. I love my neat feet, left and right, both the same. Now put them together, that's the end of our game. For this activity, you're going to put your little one down on the floor. I've got a nice gymnastics mat, but you could use a towel or maybe your play mat. We're going to warm up their legs and their feet. We're going to do a few activities, so have a look. Hands are going to go like this. You put your hands on their thighs and you're going to have um, toes that are going to go all the way round in a big circle with their legs and then toes on their nose and then swishing side to side with their legs and then we'll finish off with a bit of sensory fun. But you just follow along with the music and see how you get on. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. The wheels on the bus. <gasps> All the way round. That's it. So you're holding just over the knees with nice big hands. All the way round. Have some fun with them. Look in the eyes. Hello. There we go. Round we go. Well done, everybody. That's it. Good. Great. Moms and dads, let's do legs up. Okay, so. And legs down. Toes on the nose for this one. Up and down. down. Yeah. Ready? That's it. Let's go. <gasps> That's it. On the bus, go up and down. You can even do a bit of peepo if you want. <gasps> peepo! Now, moms and dads, keeping the legs together, let's go side to Just side like, like windshield wipers. Let's give it a go. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. Side to side. Wipers <gasps> on the bus go swish, swish, swish. That's it. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus. 
face it. Remember to maintain eye contact and have some fun with your baby. Okay, moms and dads, let's do a grandma or a grandpa kiss on the underside of your little person. Okay, just have some fun with the little one. That's it, so blast, blow some raspberries. <laughs> Are they laughing? <laughs> you ready? <gasps> and dads let's give them a belly chin tickle okay look at this one hold them like this and you're gonna go up <laughs> and all the way down let's go you ready <gasps> i've got you <gasps> we've got you <gasps> we love you up and down <gasps> There we go. I think I'm going to kiss you. Okay, give them a big kiss and a cuddle, parents. <gasps> there we go. Well, I hope your baby's happy and enjoyed that last activity. Um, we're now going to look a bit at some rhythmic development and some tactile input for your baby's feet. Um, we're going to use sticks. I've got sticks here at the little gym, but you might want to use um, wooden spoons or ruler or maybe a pen. You need two, so I'll give you a moment to go and get something. For this activity, we're going to be doing some things like rolling um, the sticks on your baby's feet, tapping them, and um, just follow along and have some fun with your baby. Please help your child perform these stick activities. If they can do it by themselves, great! Let's start off with tapping your stick on your child's stick, or vice versa. Tap your stick on a stick. Tap your stick on a stick. Tap your stick on a stick. Now tap the soles of your feet. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Tap the soles of your feet. Thank you. We think it's helpful to provide tactile input on the soles of our children's feet as the arches of their feet continue to mature and develop. Can you use your stick like a rolling pin and massage the soles of your feet? Massage your soles. Massage your soles. Massage your soles. Massage your soles. Now tap your toes with your stick. Tap your toes with a stick. Tap your toes with a stick. Tap your toes with a stick, yeah, 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 yeah. Tap your toes with a stick. Thank you. Parents, help your child hold one stick between the soles of both of their feet. Then move their feet back and forth to roll the stick between their feet. Hold your stick with your feet. And roll your stick with your feet. Hold your stick with your feet. And roll your stick with your feet. Tap your stick on the floor. Yeah. Tap your stick on the floor. Tap your stick on the floor. Tap your stick. Now, parents, help your child to see what it feels like to gently stand on their stick. Support them if they need it. Stand on your stick. Let's tap sticks together.
together one more time. Tap a stick on a stick. Tap a stick on a stick. Tap a stick on a stick. Yeah. Tap a stick on a stick. Parents, grab the soles of those little feet and give them a tickle and a kiss. Hi everybody, for this activity we're going to do a little bit of something to help um, them weight bear through their legs. We're going to do a little jump and then lift them up to the sky. So what you're going to do is hold your little one around their torso, nice big arms, look them in the eyes, go with them and you're going to go one, two, three, up and on your feet. Tell them what they're going on their feet. So we're going to go on your feet. Are you ready? One, two, three, up. <gasps> And on your feet, one, two, three, up. And on your feet, one, two, three, up. And on your feet, one, two, three, up. And on your feet. If your little one's happy, you can even take them a little bit higher if you like. One, two, three, up. And on their feet. Okay, here's a great activity for developing our little one's tendons, ligaments and bones. We're using one of our many beams here at the little gym, but you could use a rolled up towel. I'm going to give you a moment to go and sort that out. I hope you've managed to get hold of a towel. Just roll it up and put it on a safe surface. And then we're going to sing a little song all together with your little one. If you know the words, join in. They're going to start by standing and then we're going to do some jumping and some side to side actions and then finally finish off with a little fun dance with them. Okay, it's called Little Brown Pony. We love this one here at the little gym. One, two, three. Standing on the little brown pony, standing on the little brown pony, standing on the little brown pony, standing, standing all day long. Now some jumping. Jumping on the little brown pony, jumping on the little brown pony, jumping on the little brown pony, jumping, jumping all day long. Now side to side, side to side on the little brown pony, side to side on the little brown pony, side to side on the little brown pony, side to side all day long. Now some dancing, have some fun. Dancing on the little brown pony, dancing on the little Little brown pony dancing on the little brown pony dancing, dancing all day long. Yeehaw! For our next activity, we're going to have a go at a little forward roll starting on our feet and finishing on our feet. Go with the little one. If they're not happy to do the full rotation, don't worry, just go as far as they're happy. So for this, you start them on your feet and then look, you get your arm and you put it right under their tummy, so they're like a little kind of rugby ball. And then you offer their hands down, put your hand on the back of their head, and then you're gonna roll them all the way gently over. Check they're happy, maybe rub their tummy, give them a smile, and then pick up under the arms and stand up on the feet. I'll show you again. We're gonna go here, little rugby hole, all the way down here, back of your head, roll over, and then stand back up on their feet again. And then one more time, we're going to go into a little rugby hold, hands down, offer them down, roll them over, and then stand up on their feet again. Okay, our final skill today, we're going to have a go at some galloping. Some nice weight bearing through their legs will really help um, with the arch development in their feet. So what you're going to do is stand your little one up if they're happy, Put your hand right around their tummy. Encourage them just to stand and wait there. And then you're going to take one hand, just put it on the ankle and just pull the ankle and you'll see that the other foot responds by coming in close and galloping. If you go step and slide, step and slide, step and slide, eventually you'll see that some of your older babies might even start to do this by themselves. Like that. Okay, we're gonna have another go. We're gonna go step and slide, Step and slide, step and slide. Make sure you do it one way, then the other. And sing to them. Step and slide, step and slide, step and slide. And then this way. Step and slide, step and slide, step and slide.
Okay, we're gonna finish off with a lovely ball activity. I'm sure you've got a ball at home, but if you don't, don't worry, maybe just use the towel that you've been using today. Um, what we're gonna do is put the ball between your knees so it's nice and secure, and then you've got a choice. You can either put your baby just sitting on the ball or see if you can get them to stand and balance, and that's another bit of tactile input for them. We're gonna sing a little song. You can sing along with me if you get the idea. It goes like this, it goes. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, on the wooden rail. Now we're going to bounce them up and down. They can sit down or they can stand. <gasps> quickly, quickly, very quickly, goes their little mouse. <gasps> quickly, quickly, very quickly, right into the house. We're going to go again, are you ready? All the way around in a big circle, if you can manage it. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly on the wooden rail. And now quickly, 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 very quickly goes the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly right into the house. Okay, it's time for some bubbles now. If you've got bubbles, you can use them. Otherwise, just have some fun popping them on the screen. For this one, you're gonna lie your baby down or if your baby can stand, allow them to stand and we'll have bubbles on their toes or the babies can kick the bubbles. I'm gonna sing a little song. If you know the words, join in. Otherwise, just enjoy the singing. Okay. There's a bubble in the air, in the air. There's a bubble in the air, in the air. There's a bubble in the air, can you kick it way up there? There's a bubble in the air, in the air. Do you want to join in? Come on then, Are you ready? <gasps> There's a bubble in the air, in the air. There's a bubble in the air, in the air. There's a bubble in the air, can you kick it way up there? There's a bubble in the air, in the air. Pop, pop, hooray! Well done, everybody. Okay, let's finish off by singing goodbye. You can clap your little one's hands or um, they can clap their feet together. This week, we've been thinking about our feet. And just, if you can just take one thing away from the class, is that if you give them lots of time in bare feet, it really will help the arches of their feet to develop and mature. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. Bye. Bye everyone, we'll see you soon, we'll see you soon, we'll see you soon. Bye bye everyone, we'll see you soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye everyone, bye bye everyone, bye bye everyone. It's time to stay at home. Well done everybody, I'm Amy and this is The Little Gym at Home. See you soon.